Hello, my name is Peter West with West Networks and today I'm gonna to talk about the new 16 port DC switch from Peplink, but specifically talk about its amazing feature called LAN bypass. Peplink routers have had the LAN bypass feature for a while now and I demonstrated that in my drop-in mode video where we actually unplugged the power to the router and showed that another firewall would still have internet even though the power to the router was off. And we're gonna demonstrate that today in the 16 port switch. So let's talk about the 16 port switch for just a little bit, go over its features, and then we're gonna demonstrate LAN bypass. This is the new 16 port switch. It's actually a 17 port switch. So we have eight PoE or PoE plus ports. We have 16 gigabit ethernet ports. Port 16 and SFP1 share a port, so they cannot be used at the same time. Uh, it's an either or. Then you have the one gigabit SFP port number two. Total, you have 17 ports. On the backhand side, we have our console port, our management port. We have a USB port for out of band management. I actually was doing an install of these in Tampa and we needed to get into these switches and change some of the set SFP settings. And so I plugged in a USB modem here got them on end control, changed the settings, unplugged the modem, and the switches got online. You have two inputs for power. Um, so if you have one of them, you're gonna have 120 watts. If you have two of them, you're gonna have 240 watts. And that's where you get the 240 watts of total PoE plus power. And then you have a DC block input that's gonna be 12 to 56 volt. This switch in particular, not our other switches, has a feature called LAN bypass. And the idea is you can daisy chain the switches and if a switch goes offline, it doesn't affect switches following the line. So I'm gonna demonstrate LAN bypass today. This switch, it has this phone. It's then plugged into this switch. This switch is plugged into this switch. This switch is plugged into our router, our new Balance 30 Pro router actually. If you look at my screen, I do not have power and my switch three has already come online. Wasn't point of this video, but kind of funny. There's two use cases that I see kind of really neat on this. Imagine a train set up right here and you have your engine and you have compartments. And each of these compartments, you need to have wireless uh, APs and you need to have security cameras. And so you can have these. And if power goes out to one of the compartments, you don't want the security cameras and Wi-Fi to go out in the other trailing compartments. And so that's sort of the idea here. And so to, to demo this out, we're gonna establish a voice over IP phone call. We're going to unplug the switch. This voice over IP phone call will not get interrupted. It will go quiet while the switch converts from power mode to bypass mode, but we won't drop the phone call. And that's what's important. Sessions might suspend for a few seconds, but we're not gonna drop any sessions and we're not gonna affect any trailing areas. And I'll be able to unplug both of these switches and have this, this phone still working. Um, the other use case that I see for this would be a, a cubicle environment. So say you have your router and your main switches set up over here. You could have a cubicle stack here, a cubicle stack here, a cubicle stack here, have five phones plugged into each one of these. And then by daisy chaining, if the power goes out in the middle cubicle, these phones and these phones aren't affected by that. Uh, and that's sort of the idea is that you can create this more reliable network when you're daisy chaining switches. So. I can see now that all of my switches are in line. So I have my Gainesville, Florida Balance 30 Pro. I have switch one, switch two, and switch three, all online and connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and establish a phone call. West Networks, this is Amber. Hey Amber, this is Peter. I'm demonstrating uh, land bypass mode. So I'm gonna count to 15, and then at three, I'm gonna unplug the switch. And so Amber's gonna tell me when we come back online. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Amber, are you still there? Yes, I lost you at three and I got you back at seven. Okay, so we lost four seconds while we transitioned from power mode to bypass mode, but the phone call never dropped. And that's the whole idea here is that you can have this extra bit of redundancy. You're not rushing to, to switch the, the network cables or bypass a switch in the event that one switch gets turned off. 
Um, so it adds a little bit of resiliency and redundancy, but, but at the same time, maintain session persistence on that call. And that's sort of the idea behind LAN bypass and the new Peplink 16 port switch. Thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you, Amber.